Hello everyone and welcome back to the 101 Dalmatians Challenge here in Sims 3 with all expansion packs and quite a bit of custom content. And we are currently watching the puppies, Castor and Pollux, run around and play with the farm cat Pepper. Look at this! Isn't this the cutest thing in the world? Pepper, it turns out, really loves puppies. Not exactly sure why, it just seems to be his thing. He likes playing with the puppies, chasing them, frolicking with them and uh, like batting them on the head he really seems to do great bonding with the young pups so that's a really fun twist uh pepper is a oh what's this no we don't need to go to the university thank you university mascot we have met you before that's fine oh my goodness so much going on in town but Pepper is a stray cat who uh, Tisha has actually taken in. So hopefully we'll be able to develop a bit of a relationship between Tisha and Pepper because once we have them being best friends, we will allow Pepper to go out and fetch the many small animals that Tisha falls in love with, like snakes, rodents, birds, and be able to um, be able to take care of them. So Pepper might help us with catching all of those minor pets in the future. All right, and let's see. Basil's doing good. He's off to go chase his... Oh, he wants to talk to Pepper. Interesting. He's off to go try to chase his son, but Basil... Or excuse me, his dad, who he really looks up to. But I think he should actually get something to eat. But yes, so welcome back to the 101 Dalmatians Challenge, guys. Last time we left off with Emma. And here she is. Oh, gosh. I think the UNIC mascot actually snuck up on her and startled her. But Emma actually aged up from... Um, I think I kept calling her Meredith last time. How embarrassing. But Emma actually aged up from being a child to being a teenager. So we now no longer have a single child in the family tree. Tree. And that is really weird since we're missing half the family. Tobias was kidnapped by their older sister Meredith and uh, disappeared into the big city. And Lyra was technically kidnapped by her mother. She was kidnapped by, and who the heck just teleported? I think that was the university mascot again. But uh, Lyra was kidnapped by her alien mother Suas for the Galactic Spots side story challenge that we're doing. And it's just so weird not to have this place be full of children anymore. Like, it really is quite peculiar to me. I'm so used to having all the kids all over the place and toddlers and babies and putting up some of the kids stuff really made me quite sad. So I left out a whole bunch of the toys and I left the nursery fully set up. The family really doesn't feel like they can move past the fact that there should be kids running around the farm. There should be the laughter of little babies and there's not and it kind of freaks everyone out just a little bit. But they're all adjusting as they can. Right now Terry is busy. <laughs> trying to upgrade the toilet. Oh, did he do it? Ah, come on. You can do it, buddy. Ah, oh, only 64% complete. All right. He'll have to continue upgrading the toilet in the morning. It is kind of late, so I could see how he's tired. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll try to have him take care of the last of his wants for taking care of the animals today. So I'm going to send him over to, uh, let's see, we'll have him, let's sniff hand, and we'll have him brush the cat. I think that fits Terry's personality. Before he goes to bed every night, he would at least try to work on the household, and he would try to take care of any of the animals he has wants for. That fits him pretty well. Andrea is off to, she could take a shower upstairs, that's no problem. Andrea is off to take a shower and she has been making one amazing painting after another that we can decorate the household with. We're getting closer and closer to her goal of decorating the household with at least 15 of her paintings. Tisha is busy reading a new cookbook so she can work on her cooking skill and in the meantime we like to imagine the cookbook she's reading has all these notes and annotations from Anita. We don't know Britta so we don't need to worry about her and Meredith is over here looking awesome trying to search space for her sister and she actually changed her lifetime wish from being a doctor to being a international or should we say intergalactic super spy so that's going to be really fun she's going to need super high logic skill for that pretty sure and she's going to need really high athletic skill so meredith is thinking about the things she would have to do to get really strong and to be able to take care of uh being a spy because that's what she wants to become so she's going to start helping her brother terry out with the animals over at the animal rescue since taking care of the horses and the dogs that builds up quite a bit of muscle 
having to haul hay and big piles of dog food. So we can now have Emma help out with all of the puppies too. And I think she's also very interested, very shocked by something, but also very interested in the gemstones that the dogs may have. She wants to do some gemstone research because I think she's on to something with gemstones being connected to the aliens somehow, being able to find special gemstones. She used to hear how, you know, Suas would come here not only for the Dalmatians, but do a few trades in precious gemstones. Turns out the aliens break the precious gemstones down and use them as special teleportation, transportation, and fuel resources is what I'm going to say. And so she's going to be really interested in gemstones. And I'm going to interpret her eccentric trait that she gained transitioning into a teenager as messing around with all the gemstones the dogs find to try to figure out how they can fuel an alien spacecraft. And maybe if we can get her to level 10 of the international super spy career, we'll give her, uh, in fact, I wish we could do something while she's a teenager, but we'll try to just get her promoted as quickly as possible but we can give her a spaceship if she manages to get to that level and maybe have some Tiberium and then we'll let her go explore the stars and maybe she can see Emma that way so or excuse me maybe she can see Lyra that way so that might be the direction that Emma tries to take in order to explore space and find her sister but Lyra might actually be able to return to earth sooner than that but it's just a possibility I'm going to put it down in her little scrapbook so I don't forget so Emma wants to uh, become a spy in order to find her sister Lyra up in the stars somewhere in space. Uh, if she reaches level 10 of the international super spy track and has uh, the, the, the Tiberium gemstones, then she can uh, then she can steal and use an alien spacecraft. And maybe she'll actually befriend an alien or do something like that instead. Or, uh, like, have an, I think she'd have to befriend an alien and have them move in so that they would have their spaceship. And then she would have to take the spaceship from them and fly off to go search for her sister. So there's so many possibilities of what Emma could do in the rush of trying to find her sister. And I think that'll be really fun. But for now, where is my puppies? <laughs> I want to see how Castor's doing. Puppies are doing very well. They're pretty happy. Wee little Pollux wants to go socialize with his uh, with his uh, grandfather, Pongo, but I really think he should go ahead and sleep instead. You gotta watch out for these puppies because sometimes they won't eat when they're supposed to and they won't rest when they're supposed to. Are all my dogs getting some rest? Perdita, where are you? Perdita especially is prone to bouts of just hyper running around in her old age. So let's get Perdita back home. I want Perdita home. We're going to have her go ahead and pee here. <laughs> All of the mundane little details of the puppies to make sure they're taken care of. And she can go ahead and sleep. There we go. How's Rye doing? I don't think Rye's getting enough food. Andrea? Wow, Andrea. Are you walking around in your PJs? Huh. Filling up food bowls. I'm not going to question it if that's how she wants to live her life. That's her choice. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and have Terry go to sleep in his bed because it's so late. Well, he'll say goodnight to Tisha, I think. I think he might give her kind of a little kiss. He did a daredevil move last time and I didn't know you could daredevil kiss someone and it just totally took me by surprise. It was really cute. And there's still rumors going on in town that Meredith Radcliffe dearly ran off with Bradley Cheek, but we know that's not true. It's just what the townsfolk are saying. That maybe what the game says is true, but don't focus on that, guys. All right, so let's see. Come here. Come here. I want you guys to be able to... It's, it's very interesting because it's harder in Sims 3 to me to be able to do just simple things like have your Sims um, ask about day or, or do something like that. You have to go out of your way to get them to socialize, where in Sims 4 they tend to socialize on their own a lot easier in my opinion. So it's like socializing is sort of, sort of a complete separate aspect of sims 3 that you have to go out of your way to make your sims do like i just said it's hard to explain all right so he asked about her day she laughed so maybe she's feeling a little bit better and let's send her down i'm gonna get her she would be the one he would take care of the animals she would clean up the kitchen and stuff like that before bed every day 
get her taken care of. Hopefully we have got their, like, hopefully we have figured out their issues with their homework a little bit or else we're just gonna have the entire Radcliffe Dearly family flunk and it's gonna be ridiculous. They're all going to get straight Fs for being orphaned and not going to school properly. Uh, let's see, we'll have, let's see, eat leftover strawberry pie. Mer Emma still has, I keep calling her Meredith, but Emma still has some of that delicious strawberry pie left over from her birthday celebration. And as you can see, she's wearing like some black. She really loves black, it's her favorite color. And we're actually probably going to see her change her appearance pretty dramatically as she experiments with what it would be like to become a spy. She might try different tactics to sort of disguise herself as time goes on. So keep an eye out for that too. Who's fussing at me about what now? What are you doing, Andrea? Andrea, like, you're just sitting there. All right, oh, Andrea really is starting to want to bond to Basil. Maybe, no! Tisha and Lyra are no longer friends. Oh, that's so sad. It's not their fault. All right, come on, Andrea. I feel like Andrea is really always struggling lately. We'll have her use the restroom and go ahead and sleep. Oh my goodness, the townies are being noisy tonight. And then, let's see. Emma, are you ready for bed? Uh, you're sim- No, we're- Okay, there we go. Sorry, lots of pop-ups. I'm still getting used to being back in Sims 3 with Sims. It's different when you play with Sims versus when you play just with our warrior cats, for sure. So, kind of adjusting to everything. I think everybody is going to be heading to bed now. So, that should be good. All right, fantastic. We'll speed up a little bit. I think that mostly the goal we're working on is trying to make sure Tisha doesn't flunk. Rai, why are you so hungry? What just happened over here? I swear, this horse tries to like starve himself half the time. Come in here and eat your hay. Oh my goodness. There's plenty of hay, but you wouldn't you wouldn't know it the way that he behaves himself. Behaves himself. Oh dear, Siri. <laughs> I was really bad. I'm sorry. It was just like right there. We want to work on the animals as well, trying to get them trained up so that we can adopt them out. The point is not to keep them forever. In fact, I almost wonder if we should like, hmm, maybe I should have some sort of special requirement that we adopt out an animal a week or something? I don't know, we'll figure it out. I think the animals will just stick around until we manage to get them adopted out and how slow we react. We could probably, I know what we could do. We could rank our animal rescue, and however high our animal rescue is ranked is how many helpers we can have in the animal rescue. I like that. Right now we're at zero because we've not adopted out any animals and we don't have the rescue set up. So getting the funds to be able to continue and finish at least putting the bare bones of the rescue up is probably how we can like be ready to open. And then I wonder if we can catch some fish and breed fish. <laughs> And we can actually use breeding a fish as a way to try to make a little bit of money for our sims. That would actually be pretty darn useful. And then... Oh, thank goodness. I thought the game was going to crash for a second. I was like, oh, no, don't crash. Okay. But so what we might do is we'll catch fish because I have a special mod installed that allows fish to breed. So maybe we'll have a fun little fishing afternoon. It is Sunday. I do want the family to have some fun time together. Uh, we do need to let the horse like run around for crying out loud. How do I build up his exercise? <laughs> All right. Running and jumping is how we build up his exercise. We can send him out to practice jumping. I'm still getting used to having a horse. I think that'll be one of Terry's other big goals is trying to take care of having a horse and five days until he ages up. So Tisha needs to work on her, uh, her homework skills for sure. All right, Tisha, that's fine. You're just, you're just curled up there. She's completely neglected her garden this whole time too. She doesn't have time. I think in the morning, what, oh, and she didn't even finish cleaning. Oh, Tisha, here, I'll grab that for you. We'll pretend she did. And I'll, I'll grab this. And Tisha, how did you break it? She's unlucky. So she took a shower and immediately broke the shower. No wonder Terry is trying to upgrade her bathroom to be unbreakable so fast. Ah, I thought the sprinklers broke all of a sudden too. That startled me. But she's not even had a chance to work on her gardening the way that she loves because she's just been so busy doing other things. I think she'll just make a whole bunch of like pre-made food and everybody's gonna have to just eat out of the, the fridge for a little while while she tries to do this final crunch time to not fail high school. So that's just the way it's going to be. All right, Rye, 
let's, uh, will you entertain us, please, by showing us what it looks like when a horse, oh, and Dove's already awake. Come on, Rai. Can you, can you get in here, Rai? I swear, the horses are, like, the weirdest sometimes. Is this not open or something? Can you not get, okay, Rai, can you come here? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I wonder, is the gate, like, locked or something? Can you graze over here? Rai, why can't you get inside the gate? All right, let's try taking away this little gate because the animals are acting weird about it. Okay, there's that, there's that. I wonder if that's why Dove is still in here. Dove, are you trapped? <laughs> All right, let's see if that's gonna fix things. Come on, Rai. We've got like a whole big rescue to work on. Oh, that did it. All right, fantastic. Wonderful, and Rai wants to meet another pet. I think he's met all of the pets in the family though. Yes, he has, that's okay. All right, oh, and our eggs hatched. <laughs> so apparently we have chicks now. <laughs> oh, well, I need to feed the chickens too. Everything has been neglected trying to get used to this. Look at our, look at our poor Simleys. They're neglected too. Oh my goodness, everybody's gonna have to wake up. Meanwhile, the only happy one is Emma because she's been just eating that strawberry pie. All right, well, let's see if we can manage another day of chaos in this family. Yay, Rai improved his jumping skill. Awesome, we'll have to have Rai the horse practice his jumping skill a lot. Uh, I do wanna have Terry maybe spend some time with him today, or maybe we'll have Meredith go out and spend some time with him to kind of build her athletic skill and build her riding skill. You never know as a spy when you might need to suddenly ride across the open wilderness and, and use a horse as an escape. So we'll work on that as soon as everyone wakes up. So much chatter with the townies. Rai! Rai's lonely. How did he get a jump gate? Oh my gosh. I didn't even know a jump gate was a thing. Oh my goodness. He's got all these new wants. A uh, knicker at a sim. Get a jump gate. Reach level four of the jumping skill. And he's feeling a little bit lonely. Let's have him knicker at a sim. So maybe we will have a... Rai, let's have you take care of yourself, buddy. Come over here and get a drink. He can dig around. I wonder what digging around does. He can scratch his back. Uh, he can graze. I'm gonna have him go ahead and try to take care of himself. I'm not used to having a horse, so I'm still I'm still learning what I'm supposed to do. But his jumping, he practices these little jumps and then gets some jumping skill for it. So I will have Meredith come over. I think she's gonna wake up early and she's gonna change into her daily outfit. And we're gonna send her over and she's gonna help out with uh, raising rye, like training and raising rye. I think she needs to learn how to take care of this horse. And hopefully that means she can learn how to gain some more athletic skill. We might have her go jogging if we need to. So Rye is doing good. He's beautiful, really interesting. How are the puppies? Still doing good. This family's so big. I'm remembering why it can take a while to figure stuff out now but getting enough money. So I think Terry needs to focus on taking care of things back at the house today. And also we might need to try to uh, befriend this alien so that we can really get things moving there. So let's try talking to Rye and building up a bit of a relationship with Rye. Man, those rumors about Meredith and Bradley Cheek, my goodness. Meredith is starting up a rumor meal and she's not even... She's not even a celebrity yet where that's going to really affect things. All right. Can you talk to him, Emma? Fry's a little nervous. There you go. You guys can become friends, though. Oh, that's so cool. I've never really ridden a horse. In fact, I have never ridden a horse in Sims 3. They're both nickering like, like loons. Oh, my gosh. So this might be really fun. And then let's nicker at her which apparently is a noisy skill. And so that's something that we actually want to change. And we'll have him sniff Emma. So he's gonna nicker at Emma and then we'll have him sniff Emma. Come on, come on, Rai. Horses take a long time to kind of think about it. And so the nickering, we actually want to try to discourage, but the obedience we want to praise. So we'll have her kind of scold and praise as needs to happen so that we can get the horse trained up. And then we'll have her go ahead and clean his hooves and brush him and they can start building up a bit of a bond because it is taking a little while. <laughs> we'll let sniff hand. 
We'll try building up a bond with Rai, and it seems like it's gonna take a little while to build up that trust. Okay, we had to scold him for being noisy, because we're gonna try to modify that trait of his. But otherwise, there we go. Otherwise, I think that they might start building up a bit of a relationship and we might experience what it's like to ride horses for the first time, give horseback riding as a skill to Emma, which will probably serve her well as a spy, and work on getting the uh, animal rescue up and going. But that's kind of low on the list of priorities at the moment, unfortunately. Priority number one... <laughs> taking care of this family, making sure that they actually have something to eat. We're gonna just all be eating leftover strawberry pie this morning. Terry's gonna go ahead. Uh, he's going to like try to upgrade and repair the household. And we're gonna try to figure out how to start making some better money. So getting along with Zolanda the alien may be our next goal. So Terry might have to try calling Zolanda over and maybe Meredith will be the one to try to use her logic to impress Zolanda and solidify somebody, somebody having a relationship with an alien and getting that alien trade agreement going in this family. All right, let's go ahead and eat more leftovers. Everybody's gonna have some strawberry pie. Delicious strawberry pie. There we go. Hopefully the puppies are all doing well. We've just got so much going on. Rai, are you gonna get used to us? Yeah, sniffing us? All right. And it seems that Rai, who really has to pee, is feeling loved and has hygienic hooves. Fantastic. All right, and Tisha is in a bad rebellious mood, which is not gonna help us with her not failing school. Oh my gosh. This family has so many challenges to face. All right, do they have... Darn, she only knows Suas, unfortunately, and Suas is not gonna sign another trade agreement with this family. All right, so where's Dove? Dove is over there, just playing and being good. Uh, doesn't have any skills yet, and... Can we make Dove happy? Dove just wants to socialize with everybody. We'll try making Dove happy. We'll, we'll establish a little bit of a relationship. In fact, I wonder, let's go ahead, teach reinforce praise for being non-destructive and praise for, whoops, not scold, not scold, praise for chewing. Hang on, wait, no, reinforcement, praise for Playful, there we go. So Meredith is, or er, Meredith, I'm so sorry. Emma, Emma, they all look so similar. <laughs> Emma is on it with trying to help out train up the dogs and the horses of the rescue. So hopefully she can also gain a little bit of athletic skill doing all of this too. It seems that things are going very well. We're gonna go ahead and affection. We'll do care, brush, so that the dogs are really well taken care of. And uh, I wonder, I wonder, I can't remember how we start training a dove in being able to do the dig skill. I, I'm trying, I think that that's something you have to like teach or like request. And I think you can only do it once you have a high enough relationship. So we'll go ahead and let them kind of play together. Maybe do some tug of war, and then Meredith might do a little bit of jogging around here to perhaps gain some athletic skill. So, phew, we've got that side of the family sort of slowly being figured out. Let's see, Rai, do you just want to? Do you just want a nap? There we go. We're just gonna let him nap. <laughs> right, right there. Why not? It's a beautiful bush. Great place to just hang your head for a minute and take a nap. All right. So now that that's done, then next time we come back, uh, don't stop being friends with Andrea. Don't be a naughty brother. Next time we come back, we will get ready to invite over a certain alien, and hopefully that alien will be willing to be friends with us. So not not sue us, but Zolanda. And we can sign a trade agreement and start selling the gemstones so we can really get things hit off. But phew, we're, we're keeping busy. We've got challenges layered on challenges, and just the struggles and the triumphs and the struggles and the poor neglected cows of the Radcliffe Dearly family. So, oh my gosh, I'm going to catch my breath, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.